Richard Phipps wrote this poem with his daughter Natalie in mind, but I wonder how appropriate it is to many other little girls. Natalie grows up. Natalie loved watching worms or insects that moved on the floor. Her mother never came to terms of what she watched these creatures for. A bee, a moth or a caterpillar would catch her eye whene'er they met. Centipedes were thrilled to see her, or fat slugs when the ground was wet. A dragonfly, when on the wing, would hover there above her head, while crickets would in chorus sing, and ladybirds blush brighter red. Would lice loved her, ants adored her, bees would bumble bashfully, if by chance they happened on her underneath the chestnut tree. Wasps would whisper stories to her, Daddy Longlegs dance around. Silverfish would glide before her, there in circles on the ground. Round the compost heap for hours, there she'd sat the summer through, gave no mind to trees or flowers in the year that she was two. But life goes on, and she grew older, other things now filled her mind. Newer things her mother taught her, left she now her friends behind. For she had grown, now she was seven. Crawly creatures made her itch, sent them on their way to heaven with a rolled up paper twitch. Yet sometimes when she gets dreary and there's nothing more to do, wanders down the pathway weary to a place that she once knew. Sits there trying to remember by the rotting compost heap in the summer's dying ember, sees the singing cricket leap, moves a stone and sees the wood lice scurry from the setting sun, sees the silverfish go darting as she moves another one. Round her head the bees are buzzing, no more in a bashful tone. From the wasps the whispers coming, understands not now she's grown. Shuts her eyes and tries recalling memories of another year. From the tree a leaf is falling, trickles from her eye a tear. All the wonders have passed by her. Life's taken on a different hue. The magic has been taken from her. Gone the innocence of two.